If you're the kind of person that really enjoys discovering new talent, let me introduce you to Marty Jones. Now, a year ago at this time, she was opening charge accounts for people at a Sears store in Canton, Ohio, and doing vocals for Color Me Gone. Now, one year later, she's got her own album, and she's touring intimate clubs like 8x10 here in South Baltimore to promote that album. It's been a pretty exciting year. I went and worked at the, the infamous Sears credit card story where I solicited credit card applications at a... You solicited at Sears? At, yes, oh, okay. right, right outside the credit door. Credit cards, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And just kind of wondered about what, I, what my next step should be. Were you working solo? Just... <laughs> yeah, solo at the table <laughs> at Sears. It was, That's it. <laughs> um, it was... No, I wasn't doing anything in the way of music then. Just trying to really get a grip on what else is there? What, what should I be doing? And right about that point, I got this postcard out of the clear blue from Dixon. So I wrote back to him and I said, I wasn't doing anything. I think I asked you if there was life after rock and roll. Yeah, it was some sort of pitiful response. Uh huh. Don, you've been uh, producing a lot of people in the last year or so, REM among them. What was it specifically that uh, turned you on to Marty Jones? Marty has very special quality to her voice. That is something that, that means a lot to me and is, is something I can understand and that she would be a, a very good interpreter of types of songs that that I love and and uh, and work with. Marty, you gotta trust Don Dixon a lot. He's your producer. He plays quite a bit on the album. Uh, how does that make you feel to have him do as much on the album as he did? There wasn't too much I could really do about <laughs> okay. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, I like that. <laughs> Basically, when we started working together, Dixon and I, I felt I could trust him right off the bat. We did hit it off right away. I liked his ideas. His ideas were pretty much mine ones that I couldn't verbalize, one that I, ones that I, things that I knew I wanted to hear, but I couldn't, I didn't know how to express that technically. And Dixon did. And it was, it was a connection like that from the beginning. And it, Marty Jones' music could be described as folk music of the 80s. It's folk music with just a touch of melodic new wave. And although the album is more produced, she and Don are touring as an acoustic duo. Marty Jones reminds me a little of Joni Mitchell and even a little of Greg Kinn. You know, introspective lyrics with good musical hooks. Unsophisticated Time is the name of the album. It's in the stores now. Marty Jones is the artist. She's on the road now, hoping to catch your attention, your ear, and your heart. I hope you're listening. From 8 by 10, this is Tyree Ford for Weeknight Alive.